Hi kids. See this face? This is my I'm not so happy face. But that has nothing to do with you because I'm always happy when I'm talking to you. This has to do with my little radiator issue. If you've been following along, you know that I went down to Cool Radiators and I spoke with Randy and I got him on video. When I spoke to him today, he calling Randy at Cool Radiators. He denied ever saying that it was his fault. He denied ever offering me a new radiator. He also said that he was willing to fix the old radiator, but that it was going to cost me $180 for the labor. The fixing of the radiator, the soldering and everything is free, but to have it taken out and put in apparently is a different kind of job and I would have to pay $180 for that. I don't know. So I'm going to ask him how much it would cost if he fixed the radiator without taking it out. Okay? This is Randy. How can I help you? Okay, Randy, this is Shelly again. Yes. Okay, listen. Do you mind if I record this phone call so that I can have a record of what I said to you? Sure, if you're going to allow me to say what I need to say also. Oh, perfect. Okay, so when I was there, uh, you gave me the choice of having the radiator repaired or replaced brand new. And I told you that I would think about it, and I called and I said I'd rather have the brand new radiator. And you... No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma you're misunderstanding what was said. What was said was there are two choices. The choices are, one, to replace the radiator or to repair the radiator. And it's a manufacturer's warranty, and it's up to the manufacturer as to which one they will do. It's not up to me. It's up to the manufacturer. And I told you I would call the manufacturer and see what they would, what they wanted to do, which we did. You also called the manufacturer and spoke with the manufacturer, and she told you what she would do. And she told you that they would opt to have it repaired. But I didn't buy the radiator from the manufacturer. I bought it from you, and the contract that I have with you warranties it for three years. Correct. So I should have a brand new radiator, and I shouldn't have to. Well, I should. I should get a brand new radiator. You gave me the choice of having. No. You think that you didn't, because when I called you back and I said I'd rather have the brand new one, you said okay. I said I will call them and tell them that. Okay, so, but you do realize that the contract that we have, you have, you gave me a three-year warranty. So that yes, is, right, but... Because my fault, because the radio is a commercial radio, and she only had a one-year warranty. I will stand behind the three-year warranty, but it's a manufacturer's warranty. And the manufacturer's warranty is against defect. Well, that's, so it, that's we, between... At this point, we don't even know where the, where, whether it's a defect or whether it's a damage. If it's been a rock in it or whatever. It's still in the vehicle. But see... We're going on the assumption that it's defective. Based on what you're telling me. Okay, well, either way, see, that's what I'm saying is that your your contract with your distributor is your contract. My contract with you says, my contract with you says three years. It doesn't say refer to the manufacturer. My contract was with you, and it says a three-year warranty for the radiator. So, like I said, the thing, the, the fact that the other one was in there, the, the original, has lasted 21 years, and the one that I just put in there is only 15 months, that that causes that gives me you know cause for pause so i and i i would like the brand new radiator when i called you you I'm said not yes put a brand new radiator in there. i cannot do that the manufacturer will only allow me to replace to uh repair the radiator mm -hmm. well, that's, that's what i can do and that's what i've offered you after speaking to the manufacturer Okay, but uh, you said that you talked to the manufacturer, you talked to whoever, Regina or whatever, and because right. you're because you're one of her biggest purchasers, she said that she would warranty the radiator out for you and give she, you a new she one. Said, she said normally they only do that up to six months. However, she would go ahead and do the repair. She 
he would pay for the repair on the radiator. Okay, well he that's... Said, their, their option is to either A, replace it or repair it. And they're taking their option as to having it repaired because it's a copper and brass radiator, not an aluminum and plastic radiator. If it was aluminum and plastic, they would have probably just replaced it. But it's, it's copper and brass, and they, those radiators are better suited to be repaired. Better suited, but I paid five hundred and something dollars for this radiator. If I'd have paid, uh, le how much is the plastic one? I have no idea. I okay, the plas the plastic one is much cheaper. If I'd have bought the cheaper one, I would be getting a brand new one. And because I paid more money for the premium one, I'm only having it repaired instead of replaced, brand new. That's what David elected to do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> No, but I didn't buy it from them. That's between you and them. What's between me and you is a contract that says three-year warranty. Correct. That's Right, and it doesn't say for repair. Three-year warranty is a three-year okay. warranty on the okay. radiator. Ma'am, ma'am. Yes. This is going nowhere. You're getting upset. And you're I'm not upset. Your voice. Now, listen. Okay. This is, I've, I've told you what I can do. The, the warranty is a manufacturer's warranty. I explained it to you when you purchased it. I also explained to you that I would do the best I could for you. I've done everything I can for you, and no matter what I do, it just doesn't seem to be enough. Now, this is what I can do. I can have the, the radiator and repair the radiator. That's what the manufacturers will allow me to do. I cannot replace the radiator with a new radiator because they will not warranty it that way. It is up to them to do the warranty. The warranty is a manufacturer's warranty. Okay, and then we'll go on to the labor part is where I'm saying that I didn't think that I should pay anything for the labor, and you said, I even heard you say to Jeff, like I said, you said, Jeff, I'll have to eat this. What's the best you can do? So like I'm saying, I don't understand. I don't think that I should have to pay for any labor either. Once again, labor is only warranty for, for 90 days. It's been well over a year, and no one in the industry warranties labor over 90 days. And with it being over 90 days, then no one's going to warranty the labor. I it wouldn't make any difference, it wouldn't make any difference if it was in my vehicle, your vehicle, or somebody else's vehicle. Okay. The labor... I understand, but the labor is, okay. the, and then when I said to you, you know, the labor is not what failed, it was the radiator, and why did you say to Jeff then that I would have to eat this? And I explained that to you. I was trying to help you get the lowest price to get it out of there. Period. But, uh, I don't... I'm what trying would, to help you, but no matter, every time I turn around, you, you're trying, to, you're trying to, to make it seem that, uh, and, and I understand that you don't want to pay your out out. But that's not going to happen. Okay. If you want me to repair the radiator, I am more than willing to repair the radiator. Per the manufacturer. Well, that's all they allow me to do. Well, let me explain that. In the last time when I was over there, you gave me a choice. If I, I'm going to tell you this. Just listen to me because maybe you're not understanding. You gave me a choice. I can either take out the radiator and put in a brand new one, and because I'm one of their biggest buyers, they will warranty that, and I can put in a brand new one. But you're taking a chance. This is what you said. I have I have the whole conversation recorded. I could play it for you. I'll come I'll come down there and I'll show you the recording where you said it's my fault and if you want to You said it the whole conversation. Okay, that's okay. It's not my fault that the radiator is broken. I didn't say that it's broken. Well, I don't know what you said. You said that it's my exactly. fault. You don't know what I said because you I will, I did not say that. I'll come down and show you the tape right, and you down, can say. Come down and show me. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> this video is clear cut. It's unbelievable. Okay, I don't want to rant on and take up all this time, but now you have the skinny, okay? All right, so how do you like my hair? It's getting long. Look at me, in, in the heat, in the throes of a passionate, passionate bullshit going on in my life, I still 
I'm so shallow that I'm worried about how my hair looks. <laughs> All right, kids, I will see you later. Wish me luck, ski!